very good morning and welcome to Adavan News Paper Highlights. Today Thursday, 7th of April 2016. I am Edward Udiyadas, Devasakayam Pillai, with the highlights of today's newspapers. Today we have three newspapers for the highlights. Daily Mirror, Daily News and Salon Today. The main headline of the Daily Mirror says, Two Deputy Ministers, One State Minister Appointed. Two deputy ministers and a state minister had been appointed by President Maitri Palasari Sena yesterday, increasing the number of state ministers to 20 and deputy ministers to 25, making the total number of posts to 90. UNP MP Palita Deva Peruma and UPFA MP Manusha Nanayakara were appointed as deputy ministers, while UPFA MP Lakshman Senavaratna was appointed as a state minister. MP Senavaratna was sworn in as Science, Technology and Research State Minister. MP Nanayakara was sworn in as Foreign Employment Deputy Minister, while MP Deva Perma was sworn in as Internal Affairs, Wayamba Development and Cultural Affairs Deputy Minister. Graduates Demand Jobs the Unemployed Graduates Union yesterday staged a protest at Lotus Road in Colombo, demanding the government to provide them with employment. Police were seen blocking the march of the protesters. The Lotus Road and Bank of Ceylon Mavata were completely blocked, which resulted in heavy traffic congestion in the area. Rahman's Colombo Concert Postal Music sensation Isai Puyal A.R. Rahman's Colombo concert scheduled for April 23 had been postponed indefinitely following protests from anti Sri Lanka groups and posters being stuck outside his Chennai residence, Indian media reported. However, the organizers said that the concert was postponed due to the New Year festival and not because of the posters. They said that there were administrative and logistical difficulties because of the festive season and that was the reason why the show was postponed. Rahman had announced his next concert in Malaysia on May 4, 2016. PM leaves for China Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe left for China on a three-day official visit yesterday afternoon, officials said. The Premier left for China with 15 delegates including Foreign Affairs Minister Mangala Samaravira by Sri Lankan Airlines flight UL860 and will return on Sunday, April 10. The PM is expected to hold discussions on Sri Lanka's investment opportunities with China. Recently, the government cleared the stalled 1.4 billion US dollars Colombo Port City project, which had become an irritant in the ties between the two countries after a change of the government in Sri Lanka. Pandemonium in the House over MR's security. Pandemonium reigned in Parliament yesterday after the joint opposition protested over purported decision to withdraw military security of former President Mahindra Rajapaksa to be replaced with police personnel. He said the former president had virtually become a target of terrorism both as the former head of state and the leader who gave political leadership to decimate the courage of terrorism. Secondly, let's move to daily news. The main headline of the Daily News is 36 Gangsters Arrested Special Opt to Stem Crime Wave Variety of Weapons Seized Police have arrested 36 members of organized crime groups under the special operation to arrest the recent hike in serious crime. Among the 36 arrested are 18 most wanted criminals. The operation, which is under direct supervision of senior DIG Western Province Pujit J. Sundara, has also seized a variety of weapons used by these groups, including two T-56 rifles with two magazines and 32 bullets, four pistols along with two magazines and 31 bullets. The arrests and raids were conducted during a period of one month since senior DIG J. Sundara was appointed to supervise the operation following a spate of murders among gang leaders in February this year. Another highlight says increasing MPs' salaries, unanimous consent needed. Speaker Karu Jayasuriya had informed the party leaders that the proposal to increase the salary allowances of MPs could be recognized if agreed unanimously. He had made this observation at the party leaders' meeting at the parliamentary complex on Tuesday. 
Parliament sources said several Tamil parties had raised objections over the decision to abandon the proposal to increase the salary allowances of MPs, stating it was unfair. And the highlight says, My military protection totally withdrawn. Emma. Former President and Kurunagala District Parliamentarian Mahinda Rajapaksa said that military protection given to him has now been totally withdrawn after systematically reducing his security over the passage of time. Panama Papers exposes three Lankan companies, 22 shareholders. The Panama Papers exposure has disclosed money laundering allegations against three Sri Lankan companies and 22 other Sri Lankan shareholders, said anti-corruption front consultant Kirti Tenakon, adding that all parties handling investigations into financial crimes should make scientific interventions regarding this incident. Finally, let's move to Ceylon today. Yahapalani are getting obvious. Three more ministers. Ranil leads delegation to Beijing, fence mending state visit. Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe left yesterday on an official three-day state visit to China as the two countries seek to mend fences in a sequel to a long-standing spat over Chinese investments including the controversial 1.5 billion US dollars Colombo Port City project, which they signed with the Rajapaksa government. The cabinet formally cleared the project last month, paving the way for the premier's visit. Unease in the House Unease lasted briefly in parliament yesterday when members of the joint opposition began vociferously demanding that the government reveal the current number of cabinet, deputy and state ministers in the national government. With that, let's come to the end of today's paper highlights. We will come with more news tomorrow morning. Thanks for listening to other newspaper highlights.